All right, on my channel, I did a live stream a couple of days ago right here. False Prophet Julie Green, biggest false prophecy yet. And in my videos, I did a follow-up, a shorter version, where I documented the false prophecies of Julie Green, where she allegedly prophesied that Nancy Pelosi was going to be dead. She says, God says, Nancy Pelosi was going to be dead before the midterms of this year, which would have been November 8th. Now, early this morning, I got a message from a person named Saratoga Battle. Thank you. And uh, Julie here is going to give her response to her alleged false prophecy. Anybody want to take any guesses or make any guesses as to if she'll own up to it or not. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play you this clip. It's eh, roughly five or six minutes. I want to play it all through uninterrupted, and then I'll offer my comment at the end. When it's really another way, yep. that's what these people do best. And another thing that uh, that I said about Nancy Pelosi is God said she was going to make it to election day, and people say, well, she's still here, and she's still alive, and she's still fine. Who said? I mean, if people think that the, the Biden is still to Joe Biden, no, he's not. He doesn't have brown eyes. Joe Biden has blue eyes. Look at this guy. This guy who is talking majority of the time, if you see him, because cha they change who they, they use because one minute his eyes are blue, the next minute his eyes are brown. Listen to him. Look at his face. It's not the same. It is not the same person. So you, again, God is saying you can't go by appearances. And that's why God always calls him the Biden. He doesn't call him Joe. He doesn't. He hasn't for a long time. I don't even know if the real one ever was uh, ever went to, to the inauguration. I don't know if he made it to then. Yeah. I have no idea. I don't know. I've All I just know is the guy who's there is not the real one. I've gotten a taste from from Hollywood uh, of what a deep fake is and what they can do, and it's mind blowing. I met somebody. Yeah. I'll just say I met somebody that I thought was them. <laughs> it wasn't. Uh, <laughs> Mike Smith, I don't know if you know Mike Smith, the out of shadows, he used, be, he used to be a Hollywood stuntman and actor. He says, I can make anybody look like somebody else. We've been doing it for years. Mike yeah. Lindell said the same thing. Watch out for deep fakes. General McInerney was saying the same thing a couple months ago. Watch for deep that fakes. That just confirms everything that God says because he said, again, don't go by appearances. You can't go by appearances with elections. You can't go by appearances of who is standing behind certain things, yep. behind certain podiums. It's not who they say they are. And God even said he was going to reveal the imposter. That's why he said that, uh, that he wasn't just a fraudulent president. I mean, it goes beyond that because it's not even Joe. So this person who stole the election is not even the real him. And so he's even a bigger imposter than it would have been if it was Joe standing there. Yep. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, it's so it's so beyond, and, and people think this is just conspiracy. No, it's not. But that's the reason why it's gotten so many people, because people believe, oh, it's just a conspiracy, and they believe that over what's really true and really in front of their face. There are people who are supposedly dead who are not. There are people who are supposedly alive, and they're not. This is Hollywood. And if you ever watch, have you ever watched the movie Dave? It came out yeah. in the 90s. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Lord reminded me of that when I was sitting there and he gave me a word about Joe, one of this imposter. And I, and I remembered, and he just brought that to me. I'm like, and I saw the picture of the movie. And I'm like, oh, I think that was called Dave. It was that guy who was president who had a, in, in make, be an imposter basically because the president what, who was the real one had an affair and had a stroke while he was having an affair and he was in a basement in a coma and he wasn't going to make it. So they had, they had to figure this out until they got whatever. And so this other person uh, became the, the the president, and his name was Dave. Yeah. And it's like Hollywood always does this stupid, idiotic stuff before they really do it. Yep. I mean, <clears throat> they, they've been doing it probably for years, and we just hadn't known about it. Well, there you have it. That was her response. Isn't it amazing? You know, it's unfathomable to me the extent that these false prophets will go to deceive and lie in the name of Jesus Christ. Julie Green made prophecies on more than one occasion that Nancy Pelosi would be dead before the midterms of 2022. 
she made it very clear that this was the judgment of God, in which we would all see this. Isn't that kind of the whole point? God serving justice to the evil Democrats so that we could see his hand move? Now, her prophecy did not include a secret death of Nancy Pelosi with a, a clone or a reptilian put in her place and or with the help of Hollywood deep fake special effects crews keeping Nancy's legacy and her appearance going. She modified it. Now, if you believe that this modification to her pro prophecy is legitimate, well, ask yourself this, why wasn't that then the prophecy? Why wasn't the prophecy from God something like this? Thus saith the Lord, I will secretly send the angel of death to execute termination of Nancy Pelosi, but the powers that be won't let you know this and they're gonna put a clone in her place. Why wasn't that the prophecy? Well, do you know why? Well, it's because Julie Green is a false prophet and she speaks from her own desires and not for God. Now, in her response for this crime against the living God, she just flippantly chuckles off her failed prophecy and brings forth one of the most ridiculous excuses of a conspiracy that would even make the sci-fi fantasy writers from the 70s blush with embarrassment for her. Insinuating that Nancy Pelosi is either a clone or a lizard, or that Hollywood stepped in to offer you know, deep fake performances to keep an image of Nancy Pelosi front and center on the news, would be more akin to being a story that your 11-year-old nephew would concoct for his local neighborhood amateur film club. The level of insult that she casts upon the listeners is without boundaries. It's an assault on anyone who even has one brain cell in their head, but even more terrifying, it's an insult hurled at Jesus Christ. But as you listen and write on cue, she just dispatches all responsibility and accountability for her blasphemy by just simply saying, well, who says that? Who says that that's really Nancy Pelosi? And just waves it off to the side to be forgotten forever by her brainwashed followers. She has zero repentance. She has zero regrets. There is zero fear of the living God before her. When you watch her through this video, she just giggles and smiles brightly. She's giddy with joy as she so easily lies and lies about all her fake prophecies. It's truly something to behold. And then you've got the host, Dave. He just eats it all up and doesn't even bat an eye when she brings forth her ludicrous clone conspiracies and he even participates while offering her alternative possibilities. The followers are automatically satisfied with her conspiracy and her modification of the prophecy. As usual, they're content because they're given new and exciting possibilities to consider. You know, anything but the truth of Jesus Christ. So what can we take away from this? Well, the false prophecies, they ramble on. They just continue, unchecked, unverified. You know, I truly hope that Julie Green will repent of her blasphemy. I truly hope that she would come to the truth of Jesus Christ. Right now, she is leading hundreds of thousands off the path to Christ and sending them down the rabbit holes of conspiracy and unverifiable stories. You know, really that's all she offers. Stories, tall tales, 
suspicions, conspiracy. But I can tell you this, she won't get away with this forever. She'll have to give an account one day to the one who will hold her accountable for her lies against him, God Almighty.